President Trump slamming the Democrats for failing to take tougher action against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's anti-Semitic remarks. The Democrats have become an anti-Israel party. They've become an anti-Jewish party. And a group of Jewish millennials called Jexodus agrees. They are encouraging Jewish Americans to walk away from the Democratic Party. The group says, quote, we reject the hypocrisy, anti-Americanism, and anti-Semitism of the rising far left. Progressive Democrats and far too many old school Jewish organizations take our support for granted. Here with more on the movement is former Trump campaign staffer and Jexodus spokesperson, Elizabeth Pipko. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, Jexodus means what? Um, obviously, uh, it's a play on Exodus, but um, we left Egypt and now we're leaving the Democratic Party. Why did you decide to do this and start this movement? Um, I thought it was time. Obviously, we saw a lot of anti-Israel um, policies kind of start under the Obama administration, and it got worse and worse, and clearly we've seen it. It's been plastered on our TV screens the last month. There's anti-Semitism in the Democratic Party. They can hide it. They can do whatever they want. They fail to condemn it, and now right. it's there, so it's time. Elizabeth, how much does this hurt the Democratic Party, the fact that it sounded like they, we were going to have a, a, a resolution voted on in the floor, non-binding, uh, perhaps with uh, Congresswoman Omar's name on it, and then at the 11th hour, because of all the pressure from the le party's left, they wound up not naming her, and it was not about anti-Semitism. It was just generally about hate across the board. Um, I mean, the scariest part, obviously, was not the original anti-Semitism. It was the lack of leadership coming into play when they were supposed to come into play, condemn what happened, and they, they failed. Mm -hmm. So not only did the anti-Semitism that started with Ilhan Omar get worse and worse, you know, by proving that she had supporters in her own party, but when the leadership fails to condemn that, it shows that they are a party of anti-Semitism. You know, mm -hmm. the president said it the other day. That's what's happening, and they can't deny it anymore. Now, Elizabeth, we were talking about this uh, attracting millennials, but is this for everyone? Do you encourage anyone who is Jewish and has voted Democratic their entire lives, and now you're asking them to join your movement and do what? Vote Republican now? Um, so anyone that's Jewish, but also anyone at all that feels that they've been told not to vote according to their own conscience and beliefs. There have been so many people that told me that they were pressured into voting a different way or not voting at all or made fun of for what they value. So anyone that feels that they haven't gotten to vote according to what they believe in, I think it's time for that person to stand up and do you know, what needs to be done in 2020. Well, in uh, 2016, let's take a look at the results. Hillary Clinton wound up with 71 percent of the Jewish vote and Donald Trump got about a quarter. Do you see that changing in the next election, the uh, ratio between the Republican and the Democrat? Um, so we're obviously very realistic, but we're also optimistic. Under uh, President Trump, literally anything can happen. But um, also we know that the Democrats are currently helping us out. I mean, there's, they're proving our point. You know, They don't care about Israel. They don't care about the Jewish people. And the Jewish people need to show them that if they don't support us, we're not going to support them. So we know, obviously, that the Jews have overwhelmingly supported Democrats, but that doesn't mean that the Jewish vote should be discounted. Mm -hmm. Why is that when you hear the president talk about his pro-Israel stance and meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu? Um, I have no idea. Honestly, I've never understood it. Um, after the president moved the embassy, which so many presidents, including President Obama and Bush, uh, promised to do that, mm -hmm. I thought that there would be a shift. Obviously, I thought people would at least understand, like Jewish friends of mine would understand why I supported him, who didn't right. at first, and they didn't. They never changed their mind. They stuck to the narrative, President Trump is bad, and they refused to what change What are they that. saying now? Same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to change. Your group, uh, Jexodus, has been in uh, business for uh, two weeks. I understand you've got big events planned for New York and Florida, right? Yes, yeah, so that's our official launch. will be April in New York and Florida, but we're hoping to go across the country through 2020. We know uh, there's a big Jewish population in multiple states. There's also swing states, which we do not want to discount, obviously. We know it's come down to a few thousand or a few hundred votes in past elections. So we're going to get people excited and, you know, just galvanize Jews across mm -hmm. the country to do what matters for them in 2020. Jexodus.org for yes. more information. Yes. All right. Elizabeth Pepco, thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you.